Hi, and welcome to 3DMotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior 3D artist. In this little tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at the marking menus and the context sensitive menu or hotbox in Maya. As you can see, we have a polygon sphere in Maya. Just set it up real quickly. All right, I've got selected it. Just so you can see that it is a real object. Well, it's a virtual object, technically. All right, so there's a difference between the marking menu and the hotbox menu or the context sensitive menu. I think for me, what comes across is the marking menus are more direct, and you'll see what we're talking about as we get into this. It also, it also is something that you can create your own little marking menus to make it as user friendly for you as possible. Now, I don't, in, in fact, use marking menus or the hotbox very much because uh, I do it. I do my work in particular way. I create up my little custom shelf here, and this is where I do most of my stuff. Sometimes, even for me to try and get to the marking menus, you know, and all the different features underneath can be a little confusing. So sometimes I make it just very direct, and I just create my little shortcuts up here. But I do know some people uh, that do use the marking menus quite a lot and they use hotbox. Now I know there are a lot of students that that sometimes get confused between the differences and how to access them and it can get confusing. So if you're an, already an expert in Maya you'll know all this stuff but if you're not this is will be a nice little introduction just to get you used to the differences and what each one can do. All right. So if we want to access right now the hotbox in Maya, all I have to do is hold my spacebar down. Okay, as you can see, this is the hotbox, the context sensitive menu in Maya. Okay. Basically it's it's everything you see here, all the different menus, everything you want to do, it's all here. They basically took the entire UI and plunked it into these little little sub areas. I can turn around and I'm holding my space star down because as soon as I let go of the space bar it disappears. But if I keep holding my space bar down, I can now go ahead and go to file. I go to new, open, save, I can go to edit, you know, do all the things in editing, I can do all the things in modify and creating, etc. 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 Each one of these, by the way, if you see this little blue line, you see how it's a dotted little line, it's like a tearaway, so I can actually click on it and it becomes a little tearaway. So it's great. I can now go right, you know, directly into this. Once I'm done, I can just go click it right off, you know. There we go. Again, so it's just spacebar, and I can go to anything in here, do all the different controls, views, all that sort of thing. Also, I'm not sure you guys can see, but there are these one, two, three, four little lines. These are Extend, extensions of this and what I what that means to say is if you click on one of them see it brings up a whole new thing single perspective perspective relationship editor blah 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 and these are the defaults built within Maya okay so if I go over here to see what this one is and by the way I'm just left clicking and holding okay but you can middle mouse and right mouse hold on one of these and it won't make a difference like for instance I'm left uh, middle mousing right now so you have some different sections in here. I don't want any of them. And then I'll even right mouse over here. Okay, so you have help line command. Now, on the attributes before I go to, you can see the attributes to the right here has a little arrow. That means there's a little sub menu onto that. So if I just click to the attributes, I then have, this is what's underneath that attributes button the layer editor channel box tool settings so I can then go to any one of these as well and just click on it if I don't want to do any one of those I can merely go back to this circle that was originally uh, by the attributes which is this and it turns that off anyway alright so this is the hotbox menu also wherever my cursor is is where the hotbox menu is going to be so if I can move it over here Obviously, you know, you gen generally want to put it in the center of your screen, somewhere around there. You can put it up here. It can be hard to read. It's a very quick, very easy way to access all the different controls you want to be able to do in here. Now that that's kind of a it, it's kind of a top tier. It's like you know everything you see here. This is the top tier stuff without going into any of it. 
If you then click File or Edit, you can then go into all the different things from like, for instance, Modify, Transfer, uh, Transformation, then you can go into all of that. So, so for me, the Hotbox is the top level of all the commands and, and whatnot in the interface. The marking menus are more direct. Now, to get to marking menus, you basically have to right click. So, if I right click right now on the screen, I'm getting a choice between complete tool or, or select all, and that's it. Because I technically have no, nothing selected, it's saying, well, I don't know what to do yet. So, I'll just go ahead and select, hit select all. Now that I've got select all, and i.e., the sphere is now selected, if I right click, now I have a marking menu that is more, more specifically oriented to this polygon, which means I can go to the edges, I can click vertices, go right to that, go to edges, grab that, grab any of those, okay, I can go to the face, grab some of those, I can go to the UVs, I can go down to any one of these things as well, I can go to the material attributes, I can assign a new material, all right, so there's so many different things you can do, but the marking menu is the, I think, the direct function. It's directly applicable to whatever you've selected for this particular item. You can go back up to the object mode by just clicking that button right there. And I, th I think it's far more user-friendly, the marking menus on an object, than, than the hotbox is. But again, the hotbox is the again the top tier this is this is giving you the entire interface now you can get down to uh, vertices and such through the hot box it's just it's far more direct to use the marking menus just to right click and go right into what you whatever you want to be able to to go to right let me go ahead and go back up to the object now the fun thing about the marking menu is is to create your own marking menu you just have to go to window to settings and preferences and oops setting and preferences and marking menu editor okay that brings this up these are the defaults we don't want to muck around with those we're going to look to create a new marking menu all right so I'm just going to click create marking menu and now in this case what it's saying is I'm going to move this off the screen so I can see what I'm doing let's go ahead and get to polygons it's saying okay you need to populate you know your marking menu so let's just say I'm going to right click and hold a sphere and drag and drop. I'm going to right click on the cube icon, and right click on the cylinder icon. Let's right click on the plane icon. Okay, so we've got it in quadrants. Let's go ahead and fill this in a little bit. We'll grab the the pipe. Let's grab a triangle. Grab a torus, and I'm just again right clicking, dragging, and dropping. Uh, I think we're set. Let's get something else. Let's go ahead and do a, this one as well. Okay, let's go ahead and create a menu name for this. We're just going to call this demo and hit save. Okay. Oops. It says menu name is not unique. P please select another. Oops. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll call this demo test and hit save. Okay. So I close. Now if I go back up to our, the editor, we have now have demo test is a new marking menu. Now we have to set where it's going to be. Is it going to be in our hot box or our hot key editor? Well, if we go to select the hot box, if we decide to select one of these, we actually cancel out whatever might actually be there. So I, if I'm going to do this, I'm not going to muck around with the hot box at all. What I'll do is the hot key editor. So I'll just select that, hit Apply Settings, Close. Okay, well, we still can't access it yet. What we need to go to is the Window, Setting Preferences, and now we need to go to the Hotkey Editor. Hotkey Editor is here. We're going to scroll down to the User Marking Menus. Now, because we created this, this is the only thing that's going to show up. The defaults aren't going to show in this, but the demo test will. So we need to see what is the, what is the key we need to bring up our own per, uh, custom marking menu. So, okay, let's go ahead and look to create something. Uh, for the modifier, we'll select, say, well, let's just do let's do Control. We can do Control Alt, 
uh, let's try Q just to see and go ahead and do an assign and it says your marking menu will not work correctly unless you also attach the release hotkey do you want this to be set up for you say yes that's gonna automatically set it up for you keep it nice and simple alright so remember it was control alt Q so I'm gonna hit save and close so I hold down control alt Q and then left mouse and there I go there I go control alt Q was my shortcut and I have to hold my left mouse down but there I go I can instantly create a polygon cube I can just or a polyplane I can click and drag okay can control alt Q I'm going to go for the pipe I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it up okay so there you go pretty quick pretty easy I'm gonna go ahead and delete that let's go for a delete we'll delete this we'll delete this control alt Q left and do polygon pipe again so I click and then I click and drag and then edit the thickness there you go alright so that's the differences between hotbox and right click marking menu or the custom marking menu that we just created alright and then let's say you don't want that marking menu anymore it's very simple to get rid of by the way just go to window setting preferences oops there we go and marking menu editor we'll grab that one and hit delete the marking menu go are you sure you want it you want to back it up no we don't want to back it up go ahead and close it and that's it if I do control alt Q now and left click nothing alright so there you go Hope that's been fun for you. My name's Stephen G. Wells, and this has been 3dmotive.com. Thanks for watching.